um, Bank Holiday Weekend. Um, did you go out during Bank Holiday Weekend? Did you? I didn't. I'm not really bothered. Don't really give a shit. Um, but BBC News put up this um, interesting piece in pictures. UK heads outdoors for Bank Holiday Sunshine. Now, is, are they trying to shame people because they went outside or just, just like, you know, uh, responsible reporting um, during this uh, pivotal moment in human history? Who knows? But, um, yeah, people in the UK love their bank holiday weekends. Usually it's an escape from work, right? Because, you know, people usually, you know, people in the UK or people in most Western countries hate their nine to fives. So any any kind of respite they get from having to turn up to work and answer to an absolute dickhead of a boss, they're going to take it. So bank holiday weekends are popular. And then you get opportunity to chill out, relax, take your, take your foot off the pedal and enjoy some quality family time. But I guess with coronavirus lockdown, bank holiday weekends have maybe taken a different level of significance now because you know the things that you took for granted are kind of been taken away from you so you've got nothing but time and nothing but an opportunity to reconnect with your family and friends or just go around just get out of the house and see some strangers right there is something to be said for that people like to go on especially in the uk people like to go on as if like you know anytime you get near them um you're going to uh, in time get near them is a, is a is an opportunity for them to run away and scream um they want this personal space right we're all about that usually outside of you know central line stations no one comes near anybody but we do miss having you know having just people around strangers because you know we're so densely populated in this little city of london that you kind of miss the idea of the rush every day in the morning getting to work or you know going to a bar queuing up at weatherspoons going to a restaurant somewhere going to a cinema it's just so many people everywhere that you kind of miss that electricity that you kind of get off other people even just even even if you're not going to go anywhere just hanging around um you kind of miss that so i guess when bank holiday weekend comes around you're like you know what f this i don't care let's go to cornwall let's go to devon let's go to bristol brighton all these places no, maybe not bristol let's go to brighton maybe and go and sunbathe hang out and the weather in london this weekend was amazing too so i don't blame anyone for doing it and this is a little essay i guess a little pictorial reporting from bbc it says here the bank of the weekend has been some has some mixed weather but as the sun emerged many in the uk took the opportunity to make sure make the most of the lockdown easing and take a day trip so it's what crowds flock to beaches in Bournemouth to enjoy the sun, which is, you know, fair enough. And they get your sun, do your thing. But that doesn't look like a fun beach there. Not a lot, not a amount of social distancing, which again, I don't have a problem with. I think a lot of these people are making informed decisions around about their weekend. I think a lot of these people are aware because I think it's impossible not to be aware of the science and the numbers and the information out there. You just have to make an informed decision and just take a kind of calculated risk and be like, you know what? I want to get a tan. I don't care. I'm going to go outside. If I get COVID, I get it. I guess people are doing that decision. And for people like myself who are too afraid to go out and get it, you know, I don't think I've always, I've mentioned before, but no amount of beach time is worth me laying up in the hospital for like you know 10 weeks or so like i'm just just not worth it um so i'd rather just stay in until everything kind of settles down but hey if you want to do it then you're more than welcome to and as you can see from this picture there's an abundance of caucasians out on this beach you don't really see anybody else on there apart from that so you know that might have to that might that might say something or say nothing who knows uh, another image here i see suggested that ahead of the weekend that nearly two thirds of UK drivers did not intend to get into their car for leisure purposes over the bank holiday with predictions that it could turn out to be the quietest and, I'm not too sh and again I don't know how, how much does this play into the idea that you know if the leaders aren't if people in government aren't taking it seriously then you know how do you expect the public to how do you police how do you kind of prevent people from going out and enjoying the sun when Dominic Cummins is making you know 260 mile round trips to see his family because he's afraid he's got a flu like i don't know it's difficult isn't it um another image here of people where's this um with temperatures expected to reach 25 degrees Celsius in london and the southeast many headed to the coast such as south end on the sea again doesn't look like the most you know it doesn't look like marbella but i get it fair enough um the need to just be around people is strong right 
they kind of remind you of have you ever spent that have you ever had that moment where you're walking down the street and you walk on one side and suddenly someone is walking on the other side gets drawn to where you're walking and you have to kind of swap over it's like there's all that room but i guess there's something there's a magnetism between people where you're just kind of drawn to kind of like walking towards where the crowd is it's just always annoying that happens but hey maybe that's what these people have right they're just all kind of drawn towards the sea and there's a weird conspiracy not conspiracy theory, but there's this, there's this idea that you know going to the seaside and take getting some sun kind of kills a virus and maybe some ocean air is good for your lungs and respiratory it's just yeah i don't know i don't know where to start with that if the science is solid if it's not hey sometimes you know sometimes um those kind of folk tales are good for the soul in it so you know if you believe it fair enough do your thing again a gaggle of caucasians walking there oh no there's a black guy here actually madness look there's one black guy taking pictures of course with his saddlebag on there but here's another gaggle of white people walking down the hill so that after after prime minister boris johnson defended his chief staff dominic cummings that name and cummings you know madgate um decision to travel to county durham during lockdown there were fears members of the public would gather in the coronavirus mission was less seriously uh, this is a beautiful where's this beach there um don't know what that is with the promise of bank uh, lots of people in england continue to advise the public to adhere to the guidelines of stay alert that looks actually gorgeous oh look guy he's got us the new supreme bag as well nice little spot there many people in weymouth sitting outside where's this it's a long walk in windsor hanging out white people everywhere not a mask in sight which is again really disappointing because you would hope if people want to go outside and have a good time you know enjoy the sun that they would adhere to some 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 of the little some of the precautions you know social distance wear a mask like that's the least you can do if you really do want to go outside and have some fun right and get your tan on right eat some fish and chips you know stare at people that look like you and then walk back home you would Im you would imagine you'd want to you know make sure that you're not going home in a fucking you know in an ambulance and just put a mask on it's just all you have to do really but there's just such a they've been turned to such a political debate that it's become really really um annoying to see that in it like it's just a easy preventable measure that you can place and again there's a lot of kind of a uh, um, what's the thing called we're in it together sort of thing vibe with it too it's not just the fact that you're wearing it to limit your freedoms you're doing it as a kind of sign to everybody else like a silent nod right it's like whenever black people see other black people in different countries that like, well go on you know the pain you know what i mean they know the pain worldwide but hey caucasian is going to caucasian isn't it a normally busy coastal hotspot in well such as pro what's that pof call whatever that's called has been quiet Again, white people jumping over pieces of string. I don't know. It's just a madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this, isn't it, really? I have no interest to go to any beach in the UK anyway, generally in my day-to-day -day life. So to, you know, to suddenly... It's like all these people that decided they're, they're fucking Lance Armstrong during the lockdown. And everyone's riding bicycles now. Everyone's pretending they're fucking, you know, fucking runners, you know. Everyone's a jogger now in the morning clogging up space taking up room like get out of here man i didn't see you jogging back in march back in february now all of a sudden everyone's got running shoes and is cycling with fucking you know 